And let's continue um, talking about that thought, actually. Mm. And as the UK approaches the heartbreaking total of 100,000 deaths since the start of the pandemic, the impact of COVID-19 continues to be felt by the families of the victims and also, of course, those who help support them as they prepare to say goodbye. For funeral directors, it's been an exhausting and emotional 12 months, as Tim Muffet has been finding out. Good morning. Watching Breakfast with Louise and Dan this morning. And Morning Live is back for a new series. It's on BBC One straight after breakfast. And Gethin, good morning to you. What have you got on the show? What a darling. Of your course. Questions I mean, you know, that is obviously what you should be doing with your yes. socks. Yes, yes. Anyway. Don't leave them out. Thank you. Uh, it's 8.32. We've been speaking this morning about a big rise in unemployment figures. Um, this is something that Nina has been looking at and can give us all the details. So when we've got the figures about 7 o'clock this morning, Yeah, we, we've got Nina? the figures at 7 o'clock. I mean, it's not a huge... Be very snow. close attention, Carol. Snow from France. Look at Thank that. You. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Oh, pleasure. Those French sending their snow over. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm just wondering if it was any different from any other snow. Obviously, Obviously French not. Snow. It probably smells nice. <laughs> 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 it's all changed at Chelsea, isn't it, Someone's Sam? coming from Germany. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he's not the only one who's arriving from Germany, perhaps. Thomas Tuchel, yes, this man here, who is set... <laughs> What's going on there? I mean... Oh, I might even have... To... I'm not allowed to, obviously. <laughs> I'll, I'll lend you my scissors, <laughs> Dan, honestly. I'm getting told to flatten it. <laughs> uh, Breakfast Graham Satchel have revisited some other of the last year's cringeworthy cuts and also taken a look at the class of 2020. <laughs> What's going on there? I mean... Oh, I might even have. To, I'm not allowed to, obviously. I'll, I'll lend you my scissors, Dan, honestly. I'm getting told to flatten it. Uh, Breakfast Grove <laughs> Satchel have revisited some other of the last year's cringeworthy cuts and also taken a look at the class of 2020. When, every day, whenever I start to say in like the last 10 days before we go on air, I'm like, Dan, hair. It's round the back. It's like solid I mean, it's wood round the back. magnificent, yeah. to be honest with you. It's Charlie esque and it's <laughs> it is. hugeness, isn't it? I might just, I might just go for that. What are you going to do? I might just have a bit of that in my life. Oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> you, you're not alone. It's a, how long are we going to have to go and what are we going to do? Sort um, yourself out. If you want to look like you've had a professional cut, <laughs> don't follow Dan's tip. Um, follow tips from professionals. We can speak now to Hannah and Jackie Remington from Eye Candy Salon in Romford. Uh, Hannah is a barber, Jackie a hairdresser. Carol. Snow from France. Look at Thank that. You. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Oh. Pleasure. French 